Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Tech Tuesday. We will now be covering some important tech related news that we've collected over the last week. Like before, we'll be covering all of this within 100 seconds. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, let's get started. First off, Microsoft Ignite, the tech conference, took place from the 4th to the 8th of November. Some of the major things that happened are Azure Arc, a solution that would bring Azure services and management to any infrastructure, Azure Synapse, a service that would let users analyze big data, and Azure Quantum, a service that will let you use quantum computing to handle your problems were introduced. Microsoft Edge's logo got a redesign, and Project Cortex, a new AI service for Microsoft 365, was also introduced. Next, brain implants are being used to fight addiction in the United States. The implant, which is a tiny electrode called a pacemaker for the brain, would be inserted into a specific area of the brain to regulate impulses to relapse. This method, called the deep brain simulation, is also expected to be used to treat Parkinson's disease, epilepsy and OCD. Next, in a move aimed for the betterment of user well-being and health, Instagram would start hiding likes for some US users in the coming week. The tests began in Canada in spring, then expanded to Australia, Brazil, Ireland, Italy, Japan and New Zealand. Although the users will be able to see the number of likes and video views on their own posts, the public won't. Next, Google has announced that it has teamed up with three security companies, ESET, Lookout and Zimperium, calling their partnership App Defense Alliance. The alliance aims to identify harmful applications on the Play Store before they are published. And finally, as part of the SRL Diagnostics and Microsoft Consortium, a new AI tool that would diagnose cervical cancer at a faster rate is currently in internal preview. It would help in considerably decreasing the amount of time it would take for cytopathologists to produce results. And there you go, tech news in 100 seconds. For more details regarding what we've covered, each of these news articles is linked in the description. Did we miss anything important? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, do like and share it. And with that, we've come to the end of this episode of Tech Tuesday. This is your host Rahul signing off. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.